Pastor Bob here from True Life Community Seventh-day Adventist Church. Glad to meet with you again today. Have you ever had an experience of trying to maybe bring the gospel to someone? And then something, something happened uh, that, that was so detrimental to your conversation that you couldn't even finish it. I mean, I could be in the middle of an important point about the gospel and the phone rings, or the neighbor decides to stop by, or the dog or cat makes a mess, or a thousand other untimely interruptions. Ephesians 6.12 in the Clear Word Bible says, we're not dealing with an enemy here on the earth that can be seen or get our hands on, but with the darkness of spiritual beings who were once in heaven and are now using their authority and power to try and rule the world. One man tells a story of his visitation team from the church. He says, we just spent 20 minutes explaining the gospel to a tender-hearted woman. Then I asked her if she was ready to receive Jesus as her Lord and Savior. And she said, yes, I am. Then the man said to her, then just simply pray after me. The man began his prayer. Father, I thank you for sending your son. And then she repeated, Father, I thank but before she could finish, her car, which was parked nearby, started honking its horn. The man continues the story. The noise was so deafening that the woman could not hear my prayer. We went over to the car to see what the problem was. We opened the hood. We beat on the horn. And finally, it shut off. He said, then finally was able to continue his prayer, but it was a struggle for her to focus again. Many Christians would argue that a mechanical failure had set off the horn, and that's certainly possible. But at that moment, the devil must have been in the mix to hinder this would-be believer from accepting the gospel message. Not every negative event has a demonic source but some certainly do. Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit would go with us today because we know there are demons all around us. And we know that they are working, they are working against us, especially when we're trying to present the gospel to a friend or a neighbor or a relative. Go with us today. May we be close to Jesus and may he and his angels be close to us. In his name we pray, amen.